Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. For a long time, developers have tried to create military aircraft that could take off from any surface without using a long runway. And they did it. Such aircraft are often used for takeoff from warships, where space is very limited. Today, we will show you the 10 best military aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing. Yak-38 the Yakovlev Yak-38 was the Soviet naval aviation's only operational VTOL strike fighter aircraft, in addition to being its first operational carrier-based fixed-wing aircraft. The Yak-38 actually entered service in 1976. It could fly just short of the speed of sound, at around 680 miles per hour. It had two dedicated lift jets behind the cockpit, in addition to a single RD-27 vector thrust engine. The Yak-38 had no radar, limiting its potential as a fleet defense fighter. Its air-to-air -air armament was confined to small R-60 heat-seeking missiles with a maximum range of 5 miles, as well as optional 23mm cannon pods. The Soviet Union produced 231 Yak-38s, including 52 upgraded Yak-38Ms in the 1980s with more powerful R-28 engines and more rugged landing gear. Lockheed XFV The Lockheed XFV was an American experimental tail-sitter prototype aircraft built by Lockheed in the early 1950s to demonstrate the operation of a vertical takeoff and landing fighter for protecting convoys. The XFV was powered by a 5,332 horsepower Allison YT-40A6 turboprop engine driving three-bladed contra-rotating propellers. To begin flight testing, a temporary non-retractable undercarriage with long braced V-legs was attached to the fuselage, and fixed tail wheels attached to the lower pair of fins. The XFV-1 was able to make a few transitions in flight from the conventional to the vertical flight mode and back, and had briefly held in hover at altitude. With the realization that the XFV's top speeds would be eclipsed by contemporary fighters, and that only highly experienced pilots could fly the aircraft, the project was cancelled in June 1955. Dornier Du-31 The Dornier Du-31 was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing jet-propelled transport designed and produced by West German aircraft manufacturer Dornier. On the Du-31, a pair of Pegasus engines were housed in each of the two inboard nacelles. A pair of Pegasus engines were housed in each of the two inboard nacelles. During the vertical phase of flight, additional lift was provided by an arrangement of four vertically mounted Rolls-Royce RB-162 lift engines located in each of the outer nacelles. On February 10, 1967, the first prototype conducted its maiden flight, powered by just the two Pegasus engines. The Du-31 was the first, and so far only, vertical takeoff jet transport ever built. During April 1970, it was announced that the project had been terminated. Ryan X-13 VertiJet the Ryan X-13 VertiJet was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing jet aircraft built by Ryan Aeronautical and flown in the United States in the 1950s. The main objective of the project was to demonstrate the ability of a pure jet to vertically take off, hover, transition to horizontal forward flight, and vertically land. It was only 24 feet long, just large enough to accommodate a cockpit and the 10,000-pound thrust Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet. The first prototype was fitted with a temporary landing gear and made its first horizontal flight on December 10, 1955. It later made full conversions to vertical attitude and back at altitude. The landing gear was then replaced by a rear-mounted castering framework, known as the roller skate, and hooking practice was conducted. The Air Force chose not to continue development of the VertiJet because of the lack of an operational requirement. Doak VZ-4 
The Doak VZ-4 was an American prototype vertical takeoff and landing aircraft built in the 1950s for service in the United States Army. The aircraft was originally powered by an 840 horsepower Lycoming YT-53 turboprop engine mounted in the fuselage, later replaced by a 1000 horsepower Lycoming T-53 L1 turbine. The VZ-4 hovered for the first time on February 25, 1958 and the first transition from vertical to horizontal flight and back again took place on May 5, 1958. Work continued on the VZ-4DA until 1963, when the US Army decided that the helicopter would meet its VTOL requirements. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration later acquired the aircraft. In 1973, it was transferred to Fort Eustis and placed in storage. AV-8B Harrier The AV-8B Harrier was developed as a second-generation Harrier, primarily for the U.S. Marine Corps. The Harrier II entered USMC service in 1984 and participated extensively in the 1991 Gulf War. 22,000 pounds of thrust enabled the Harrier II to hover like a helicopter and then blast forward like a jet at near supersonic speeds. Like every aircraft in the Marine fleet, this aircraft is used for multiple missions, which include attacking and destroying surface and air targets, escorting helicopters, engaging in air-to-air -air defense, providing reconnaissance, and applying offensive and defensive support with its arsenal of missiles, bombs, and an onboard 25mm cannon. The first foreign operator was the Spanish Navy, which received 12 EAV-8Bs, 8 AV-8B+, and a single EV-8B trainer for operation from the carrier Príncipe de Asturias. LTV XC-142 The Ling Temco Vote LTV XC-142 was a tri-service, tilt-wing experimental aircraft designed to investigate the operational suitability of vertical, short takeoff and landing transports. An XC-142A first flew conventionally on September 29, 1964, and on January 11, 1965, it completed its first transitional flight by taking off vertically, changing to forward flight, and finally landing vertically. The XC-142 was powered by four General Electric T-64 turboshaft engines cross-linked on a common drive shaft, which eliminated engine-out asymmetric thrust problems during VTOL operations, to drive four 15.5-foot Hamilton Standard fiberglass propellers. The last remaining aircraft in 1966 was transferred to NASA, where tests continued until May 1970, after which they were finally terminated. Bell X-22 The Bell X-22 is an American V stall X-plane with four tilting ducted fins. Takeoff was to selectively occur either with the propellers tilted vertically upwards or on a short runway with the nacelles tilted forward at approximately 45 degrees. The maiden flight of the prototype occurred on March 17, 1966. In contrast to tilt rotor craft, transitions between hovering and horizontal flight succeeded nearly immediately. The second X-22 first flew on August 26, 1967. Early that year, it was equipped with a variable flight control and stabilizer system from Cornell Aeronautical Laboratory, which improved flight performance. Although the X-22 was considered to be the best aircraft of its type at the time, the program was canceled. The required maximum speed of 326 miles per hour was never reached. Yak-141 The Yakovlev Yak-141, also known as the Yak-41, is a Soviet supersonic vertical takeoff landing fighter aircraft designed by Yakovlev. Development of this aircraft began in 1975. 
Flight tests were successfully conducted in 1990, when aircraft made past a full test program, including vertical takeoff and landing, short takeoff, flying at supersonic speed, then slowing down to hovering, and so on. The Yak-141 was capable of engaging air, ground, and sea targets. It was armed with a single 30mm cannon. Missile armament included the R-73 or R-27 air-to-air missiles and KH-31 air-to-ship missiles. In 1991, during a single flight, the new aircraft set 12 world records in its class. One of the records was achieving a 7 miles vertical takeoff. F-35 Lightning II the F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter is being developed by Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Company for the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, and the U.K. Royal Navy. The F-35 is being built in three variants, a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft for the U.S. Air Force, a carrier variant for the U.S. Navy, and a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft for the U.S. Marine Corps and the Royal Navy. On the F-35V, the engine is coupled with a shaft-driven lift fan system for STOVL propulsion. The counter-rotating lift fan, developed by Rolls-Royce Defense, can generate more than 20,000 pounds of thrust. Doors installed above and below the vertical fan open as the fin spins up to provide vertical lift. The F-35B, designated BK-1, completed assembly in November 2011. It was delivered to the UK Department of Defense by 2012. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.